here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, UFC fans, here we go to the surprise of no one. The biggest superstar in mixed martial arts, Conor McGregor, has earned his opportunity. at the welterweight champion Leon Edwards. Fascinating stylistic matchup. Leon a slight favorite coming into it. As he should be, because he's the bigger guy. Conor McGregor once fought at 145. You could never see Rocky Edwards fighting 145. He's massive for the weight class. In terms of the striking, this is going to be so fun. Because, oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. Back. Back to the feet. Strike gets through. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting. Oh, he's got a choke. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Sliding back up. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, that won't feel good in the morning. Big uppercut. Oh my goodness, what a right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with this beautiful leg kick. Just over two minutes now to go. He's lucky his head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus his Ghanu. And you know they still haven't found Alex Overeem's head. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay.